Okay, so here we're asked to find five key points on the graph of the function beginning at the phase shift. All right, well, to do this, we have to kind of remember what one period of a cosine looks like beginning at the phase shift. And what one period of the cosine looks like, it starts at a maximum, then it goes to an x-intercept, then it goes to a minimum, then it goes to another x-intercept, and then it goes back to a maximum. So those are the five key points we're going to be looking for. And <coughs> those five key points occur when the angle is equal to 0, um, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So what we're going to do is we're going to tr try to figure out where the angle 4x plus 5 pi over 6 we're going to try to find out where it equals that set of numbers. 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So we're going to solve a bunch of equations simultaneously. So to solve this bunch of equations, one thing I would do is to get x by itself, I'd subtract 5 pi over 6 from both sides. Subtract 5 pi over 6 from all the sides of all these equations. 5 pi over 6, subtract 5 pi over 6, subtract 5 pi over 6. Now in order to do that, you'd need common denominators. For instance, pi over 2. Pi over 2 is the same as 3 pi over 6. And pi is the same as 6 pi over 6. 3 pi over 2 is the same as 9 pi over 6. And 2 pi is the same as 12 pi over 6. So they all have a common denominator. And then when I do the actual subtraction, these will cancel, and I'll get 4x on the left. On the right, 0 minus 5 pi over 6 is negative 5 pi over 6. 3 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6 is negative 2 pi over 6. Uh, 6 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6 is just pi over 6. Um, 9 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6 is 4 pi over 6. And 12 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6 is 7 pi over 6. And then the last thing I need to do to get x by itself is divide all five of these by 4, both sides of all, equa of all five equations. That way the 4s cancel, and I get the x values that are actually the key points for the function that we were given. So when I divide each of these by 4, the first one becomes negative 5 pi over 24. The second one becomes negative 2 pi over 24. The third is pi over 24. The fourth is 4 pi over 24. And the last is 7 pi over 24. So all I have to do is reduce the ones that need to be reduced. So I get my x values that my key points occur at. The first one is negative 5 pi over 24. The next one is negative pi over 12. The third is pi over 24. The fourth is pi over 6. And the last one is 7 pi over 24. And what the significance is, those are the x values for my five key points. So the first of the five key points was a max, then an x-intercept, then a min, then another x-intercept, then a max. And the maximum values are going to be 3. And the minimum values are going to be negative 3. So I get negative 5 pi over 24, and the maximum is 3. That's the first key point. That's where the phase shift is. The next key point is negative pi over 12 and that's an intercept. The next one is pi over 24, and that's a minimum. The fourth one is pi over 6, that's another intercept. And the last one is 7 pi over 24, and that's another maximum. So these five points are the five key points that we are looking for.